Today I want to talk about the use of the, the, the efficiency of the storage pollen. And this is my uh, Bruni and um, Connie Mayer mix. We have both of them here. And they are so similar, so I'm not going to distinguish them anymore. And this is my test, very good test subject for the frozen pollen because they have flower very early in the year. And uh, at the time that the most of the flower of the dragon fruit didn't start yet. And also they have a flower at the end of the year and the, most of the flower already finished. So they always need some pollens from the frozen um, uh, storage part. So, so um, the, earlier this year, this one had 60 flowers open at the same time. So I have 12 of them have to use the stored pollen from last year. And uh, from that experiment, the, the 12 flowers um, pollinated by stored pollen from last year is uh, very from seven months to uh, ten months and from that 12 flowers only one actually survived all 11 are aborted so the the pollen stored from the previous year seems uh, because the storage time is really too long like a uh, average like eight months old they are not very potent anymore but it's not completely dead because at least one of them pollinated by this uh, um, eight months pollen still survived so um, and then now it's about the October this one started to have a lot of flower again and um, I have to start to use the sword pollen from earlier this year so I'm going to show you some of the results. It's a, it's a mixed result. It's very interesting, I think. Like this one. See this one? It's already boarded. It's, uh, it's, the flower was pollinated on September 29th. The pollen is 118 days old. It's from Tricia. And this one did not work. But um, you can see this one. It's on... Um, Pollen on September 30th. The pollen was 118 days old also, it's from, from Tricia. And that one survived. You can see it's pretty big now. And also, um, you can see this one, it's two of them right next to each other. This one is uh, pollen the October 7th. The pollen is like uh, 92 days old. And you can see it clearly aboard it. And this one is next day. And the, the pollen is uh, 196 day old. This one hard to tell. Even this one is uh, <coughs> pollinated on uh, October 8th. Today is uh, October 18th. It's 10 days old. So they, this one doesn't look too good they could be still um, aboard and also I have uh, two more on the other side ah. uh, like this one this one's pollinated on October 2nd the pollen is 120 day old and this one you can see is a set of fruit. So basically, if you use the pollen over 100 days old, they are they have 50% of chance to, to be successful because this whole whole set is a, a six flowers, three set and three aborted. So the 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 the, the lesson learning from this one is. The stored pollen, you can store to three, four months old, but the potency is really decreasing uh, as uh, along with the storage time. When the pollen is like a 10 months old, uh, very likely they won't, don't do any good anymore. And uh, 
pollen start is three four months have fifty percent of a chance uh, successful and uh, for pollen like uh, less than one month they will be almost hundred uh, percent successful so that's my little conclusion about the stored pollen and if you want to know how how I store the pollen I will put the link at the end of this video and uh, this is the concluded by Oh, actually, I want to show you one thing. This is a bruni. But how, see how big the, the flower, the, the, the fruit is. It's the biggest fruit I have ever seen. And this one is pollinated by Sin uh, Hispanus um, pollen. I want to use this one as um, another hybrid material because Sin Hispanus has a very um, dark, dark um, lush. And a very look very very interesting and this one is completely white so I want to see if I can create some pink flower has a dark red flesh so stay tuned for these guys to be the next hybrid experiment so that's it that's for today's recording thanks for watching